trinket. Hello and welcome to Everything to Guppy, the podcast where we talk about every single item, enemy, everything, etc., etc., in the binding of Isaac. I'm Will. Uh, and I'm joined, as always, by uh, a guy who's got about four teardrop tattoos, I think. Gary Butterfield. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, one uh, for every 20 people I've killed. I was going to say one for every, like, big tub of ice cream you've killed, but sure. I, I, my body will stop me from eating a big tub of ice cream. Sure. I can land a pint with mm-hmm. the best of them. Once it gets more than that, though, uh, my body starts rejecting it. Like when people try to chug like two gallons of milk, I just can't do it. Have you engaged with, I don't know if they still sell them for a while. Ben and Jerry's was doing like basically Ben and Jerry's Klondike bars. They called them like slices. <laughs> okay. So it was like a chocolate shell around like a like a, a ding dong of Ben and Jerry's ice cream, and that kicked ass. I, I have not tried those. I used to, you know, I, every once in a while I'll get a Ben and Jerry's pint, and that's mm-hmm. that's two sittings for me when I'm, you know, not crippling, depressed, or roars didn't just die. Yeah. Um, it's yeah. a little too much Jimmy Fallon themed ice cream. Yeah, and that one doesn't taste so good. You got to get the uh, the Stephen Colbert taste one. The Colbert one, the Americone Dream, is genuinely very tasty. I genuinely actually think the really Fallon good. one's pretty good, but it's not bad. But it's no Americone Dream. Yeah, Gary, uh, real quick, what would your uh, Ben and Jerry's flavor be? Oh boy, um, like balsamic vinegar, vinegar and fig, and, and hair uh, surprise, and goat cheese, and Gary cheese, and goat hair, and Gary hair. Gary, you know you're committing to be, being uh, cheesed pretty regularly if you sign on for that flavor. I, you know, I've never tried to milk myself, Greg. But can I milk? How come there's not an existential fucker where he's like, "Can I milk me?" How come you reference this movie so often? Are you a <laughs> big fan? I just think about milking humans a lot. Okay, I, I, but I not lady why? humans. What? Not the way you can, not lady humans. Okay, okay. <laughs> I just Interesting. Think about, I just think about milking, like you know, Stillers. God rest his soul. The the ancient milk. You know, I I just I just think about what happened if you got milk out of a person that you know. Have you watched the movie? I watched the first one. My mom showed it to me. Okay. Okay. It now we get into the Oedipal of it all. All right. Yeah. It's it's a uh, I I have to reference it to keep her memory alive. And the, and the memory of her milk mm. Mm. didn't finish oh. the didn't finish the phrase. Can't get can't get mad at me for phrases I don't finish. No matter what letter at the end of that was going to be, it's no good. <laughs> the uh, her Milton <laughs> Berle impression. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Uh, hey, la, la, la. son, I've got a famously long <laughs> dick. <laughs> yeah, I you know never saw never saw her dick. One of my big regrets. <laughs> Gary, um, I'm, let's, I'm really let's talk sorry. about the trinket here, please. <laughs> no, Gary, <laughs> like, my keep Plus one in you <laughs> through this trauma. <laughs> <laughs> Gary, it's the, the dark it's side teardrop. of yes, and it's a teardrop charm. This is good. This is good, e- even though it doesn't tell you what it does. Yeah. At all. Uh, once you know what it is, it's like worth picking up. But mm-hmm. before that, you're just like, oh, it's another thing that doesn't do anything. It's good, though. Uh, every time on the show, we talk about uh, something that has a chance to proc when you shoot. Mm-hmm. We talk about that chance. Uh, sometimes the wiki lets us know what the chance is. Sometimes it doesn't. Uh, this adds luck purely for that purpose. Yeah. Plus so, three luck for that purpose yeah. and only that purpose. So, like, if you obviously this is situational, if you don't have uh, anything that has that chance when you fire to do an effect this is nothing Mm -hmm. but if you do like if you have this with like euthanasia it's great yeah the equivalent of three luck but situationally is really one third of an item almost literally gary are are you willing to give two everything to guppy trinket awards this week or do you feel like that devalues the uh the the whole the whole economy of it yeah i'll I'll, uh, i'll give it to him yeah what do you think Gary, I think it uh, cheapens us deeply, but I also don't care. How can I'm we over be this cheaper? show, right? Yeah, like, I don't know what we can do to become cheaper. This money-grubbing sicko fest that we record once a week. I mean, Gary, we the only have... show where we beg for money as much as we do. <laughs> show. Yeah, even though and we it don't want it. Audience, think we deserve... I have no idea why. <laughs> like, I, I think it's just because I think it's funny that money could it's... come. we do podcast and money come out. That's very funny to me. It's it's funny, and then it also it feels safe because if I pull this shit on my regular shows, oh my god, uh, they get so mad. 
Yeah, people would get mad at us and we would end up written up. I'd end up on the front page of Kotaku. <laughs> I wouldn't end up on the front page of Kotaku. Area podcaster like money. Mm-hmm. And he loves it. <laughs> and he spent uh, it on <laughs> Shatner Cup? On, and spends it on something sexual. Kotaku. Ko- he spends it on... Taku, a fine geomedia product. Yeah, he spends it on sexy NFTs. Uh, I support Kotaku in all ways, in all forms, even though they did a roundup of Elden Ring reviews on the day it came out because their review wasn't up yet and they didn't include mine, even though I'm their sister. That sucks, dude. You know what else they did to you? Is you released a thing that was like 10 things I wish I knew in Horizon Zero Dawn before I started. Uh-huh. And the next day they released one that was 37 things I wish I knew. Yeah. I got a big laugh out of me. I was like really sticking it to Will. Yep. Uh, uh, the like, one to two man uh, gaming section of the AV Club really taking it on the chin from, from Big no, Brother Kotaku. Well, no, I know what. I know the logic behind it. It's just it, as on a base level, it was very funny. Like That's I know they funny. weren't really trying to get you, but it was fun to pretend. Yeah. No, I'm on board with this, Gary. I'm not mad at yeah. you. Okay. Yeah. Don't, don't be mad at me. I, I, uh, also I read yours. I didn't read theirs. That's the big difference. You got the you Gary Butterfield mine? CLO. I don't know. You don't give a shit about Horizon Forbidden West. Yeah, yeah. I'm never going to play that game. I also called it yeah. Horizon Zero Dawn earlier. I don't give a shit. Yeah. I, I don't know. Hey, just, everything's got me. We don't give a fuck. Because I like you. That's sweet. I like your writing. What do you think of my Elden Ring review? I haven't read it yet. <laughs> I, I know. I mean, because it might tell me about that you can duck, and I don't want to <laughs> find it out sexually. <laughs> <laughs> You know, yeah. What if no, there's something I, uh, with the R1 button? Like I would, I would say that my review for Elden Ring was spoiler free, but uh, then you made me Ooh. really think about what a spoiler is. <laughs> well, now I, I actually I was going to ask you that off air whether I could read it and whether it would tell me anything. Uh, I don't so, believe so. I, I, yeah. I mean, you sh- I, you can read it, and I don't think it'll spoil anything. I'm going to write yeah, a. Now, a I plan to write a piece this week that's trying to talk about like the later game stuff, but and that I shall not read. Yeah, I might actually like, I, talk about yeah. spoilers and shit in that one. Yeah, unless I unless I get there and stuff. Uh, and I told you I'm right on the edge of googling what a summoning pool is. So I'm I'm my spoiler policy is loosening with every wow. couple hours I play the game. That's really exciting, Gary. I, you, you, I feel yeah. like you've grown as a person. Thank you. Yeah. It's very funny like, to me that, like, blind. you've been, like, off in the offline colonies while, like, 40 generations of Elden Ring discourse have played out. <laughs> it's great. Like, and then I you am pop on Twitter forward. with replies off to give your thoughts. And it's the most Gary Butterfield thing <laughs> a Gary Butterfield has ever done. <laughs> have you ever? But tell me it doesn't own. Like, <laughs> it, I'm so much happier having done it this way than that way. I know like, you are. Like, it's, it's a good policy. I'm just like... <laughs> Gary is just has turned off the ability for people to talk to him and is just lobbing his thoughts out on t- Twitter. Uh, and it's that it's the, I just don't want people to yell at me about Sekiro. I don't care if people yell at me about Elden Ring. Uh, the um, yeah, it's it. You know how you like sometimes one of your conventional bits of wisdom is like it's always better to have not said something. Yeah. You know, I think about that a lot. Like when sometimes I say something and it's like it's good. But when I do and it, it just bites me in the ass. I'm like, God, Will's kind of right. Like I should just go about my day and not engage in anything. Um, this is something I'm right about. And I understand Absolutely. why you don't do it. It's your job to, to engage in the hype cycle. But this is something where it is definitively a better way to be. It's right there on my resume. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, don't Gary, talk. Don't speak. It, your resume comes in song form. It does. Uh, no doubt that it does. <laughs> no doubt that it does. <laughs> no doubt that it does. <laughs> I don't make films. Uh, if I huh? did, they'd have huh. a samurai with a gun. If if they they'd be uh, uh, Bushido Blade two, um, would if I and, or they'd have Gwen Stefani. Yeah, Gary, let's make a Bushido Blade movie with Gwen Stefani. Interesting. I'm baby. No, blade me. I think she she'd I have to be. I, there are Western characters in there. There's like a there's like an Englishman or whatever in that. There's an Englishman. There's a gay cowboy in the second one. Oh, that's good. Uh, yeah, wears all pink and is very flamboyant. That seems less good, but I guess. Yeah. It was 1998 or whatever. You take what you can get. Yeah. Yeah. I, I've never seen anyone say he was like a representation win for them. No, uh, no one's been editing uh, the gay cowboy from Machino Blade. <laughs> it'd be incredible if there was. I got a, I got a job at Kotaku. Um, if people like the show, what should they do? Uh, Gary, they can go to patreon.com slash duckfeedtv uh, and donate. Uh, five bucks gets you uh, 
the upcoming season of Bonfireside Chat. It gets you all the archives. It gets you uh, this show in uh, a less annoying form, uh, some say, mm-hmm. to download. Some say other people find it more annoying. Mm-hmm. Uh, listen to the four episodes and a chunk uh, on Tuesdays, and then don't have to listen to it for the rest of the week. I'm gonna I'm gonna hype a little everything to Guppy thing right here. Uh-huh. Since we've pu- passed into Guppy Platinum, sure, we got a thing planned for that at some point. We just gotta schedule it. Do, do we? Yeah, I'm excited to find out what this is. <laughs> you, you know, you're, you're excited to be reminded of what it is. My memory is really gone, bud. It's it's you know. it's gone in the toilet. I am only coming at this with a sharp mind of somebody who has been off caffeine for a few days. So I'm like mm-hmm. adjusted and who spent rejuvenating time in a hot tub. You're like adjusted. Like I am like a Justin at, McElroy. Yeah. Okay. And you see, I don't even hate that anymore. I'm better now. <laughs> oh, they fixed Gary. <laughs> yeah. All it took was, was some good loving and a good hot tub. And some oh, tell me more balls. about this good loving that you brought up. Oh, just like just mountains of really good sex with my partner. Oh, yeah. Um, wasn't as yeah. fun as I was hoping. <laughs> I just uh, yeah. take that, Zach Hanlon. You'll learn every detail about my sex life now that you've complained about it. Shout out to Zach. Um, shout out to Zach. Uh, also, ratings, reviews on Apple Podcasts or Podcast Addict. I was going to correct you that we'd already done it, but I was wrong. <clears throat> yeah. No, I'm on, I'm on top of it. I'm caffeine free and, and sharp as a whistle. And I'm uh, about as depressed as I've ever been. So <laughs> I know. it's a, it's a <laughs> fun <laughs> land of contrasts. I'm do- doing my absolute best to try to help my friend. Yeah. By no, no, no. Just you're being doing, a goofball. You're doing great. You're doing really Thank good you. and it's working. Thank you. All uh, I want is the best for you. I will read your article, your Elden Ring article twice. Oh, that's okay. Uh, leave a rating and review like this one uh, from, let's see, which one have I not done? Uh, let's see. I think, have I run, read this Austin Paul review before? I'm not sure. I guess it's my turn. I have, because it's, that's the one that calls me William Huge and just calls you Gary Butterfield. So, sorry, Austin Paul. You don't get it twice. Uh, Eli43068 writes, eh. Doing a re-listen of this stupid show. I listen while I'm at work, and one night I was having a pretty bad time. Snack and time made it notably worse. Negative three stars. And that was a five-star review. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. How can somebody not like snack and time? I guess it's an everything having, to go be classic. It is, yeah. I mean, lots of things become classics through uh, time and repetition rather than quality. Yeah. Also through arbitrary nomenclature. Yeah. They become classics because we're the governing body. So, yeah. Uh, that's our famous sign off. That's our famous sign off. We're the governing body. Yeah. Govern your body. Ooh. It sounds like every white man in history. <laughs> the, um, do you, have you ever thought about which one of us is whiter? Me. Yeah, I think that's true.